girl M O E coming to you straight coffee no tea coffee straight coffee no tea it's your girl M O E straight coffee no tea coffee straight coffee no tea wake up straight coffee no tea wake up and sip you some coffee with me this is not another this is another form of slavery and we working harder and it's breaking our backs and it's breaking us mentally it's breaking us emotionally because we're trying to meet the standards we're trying to meet we try to meet everything that we can to make sure we keep you all happy. Right. Put you in a good, put you in a good home, a three hundred thousand dollar home, or a hundred thousand dollar home, or whatever how, how much you the house costs. Right. It's we, it is our goal to try to make life as comfortable as 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 possible as it is for you. Right. But now what America is seeing now is domestic abuse. Now okay. is on the rise. Now. Right. Black men are killing black women. Right. Why? Over stuff, over oh, bullshit. bullshit okay, yeah. And I'm, I'm just being real with you. All the stuff that you talk about, bring it to the table. When well, you bring this to the table, you bring that to the table, you bring that to the table. But nobody is bringing discipline to the table. Nobody is bringing, you know, comprehension and, and competence to the table and respect to the table. You want all that stuff, but it ain't keeping us. That's what holding that house together. That's what we needed. See, see that? You see how you just really said what we need? We need structure. We need discipline. We that's need the structure. To be that, that, that's what we need. And we need the black man to take lead in doing it. But we also need for women. The woman, now, y'all already said how the women showing that. No, no, but we need for the women to become aware of what has happened. Exactly. We need for exactly. women to understand what the strife is. We right. need for women to understand that the tables have turned. It's turned. And help us if we need to be helped. Right. We need for them to listen. We need for them to open up. We don't need women fighting out in the street and being on video talking about what's up. Right. We right. don't need for women being extra hard. Um... You know, because these videos, we need for them to be aware that, one, that's not attractive. Right. And these right. videos that you are being, um, becoming viral for, uh, you, 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 you have to become a, a grandmother one day. Yeah, and your grandchildren are going to see this. Your great grandchildren, yeah. and what are they going to say about you being out in the street? Can you imagine if our grandmothers were out there in hoochie mama shorts? And out there fighting and getting their shirts torn all off and hell, you know, my grandmama beat your grandmama is what we gonna have on, yeah. on video. Yes, yeah, facts. You know, and so we there is we have to become aware, and we need you guys to become aware. We need you to understand that um, we need you to become feminine again, uh, live in your femininity because that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. But when you saying something about this, 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 I'm, I'm serious. This, look, talk to us. Let me tell you something. We give y'all the flow. We give y'all the whole episode. They just stole y'all shit. Ooh. Okay. Now let me put it out there. I'm going to say it. I'm going to okay. put it out there. Okay, put it out there. All right? You all are women. You all are women, and you were taught to be women. Right. I mean, this, brother, this brother just said, let I me mean, bring an awareness to this, okay? We have the gay community right now. Mm -hmm. We have men that literally, because of what has traumatically happened to them in their past, the context of all of this, they still in every feminist, every little feminine thing about you all. Mm -hmm. They take it. Right. They can look better, and, and I don't want to switch this thing. No, you being honest. Okay? Y'all stuff is being stolen, mm -hmm. and so is ours. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's being stolen. All of our morals, everything, the qualities that comes with a man, characteristics that comes with a man, it's, it's being taken. It's been, the tables are being turned. Brother, you said it right. It's being turned. Okay, completely. In fact, it's a talk. It used to be a round table. Right. Now the sun is going to square now. But it's that it's an awareness that's going to put us ahead. Okay. You know, uh, back on that femininity thing again. I just cannot say enough. Yes, it's okay if you run the boardroom. Yeah, you might be doing it better than us, and we're out, you know, on the street sweating while we're right. doing what we do. Um, but it's that awareness that is so important, and I have to keep nailing that because um, when you are aware, then you're going to sit down and say, you know what, black man, I know that your your uh, struggle is hard. You had to go out and work all day. You had to be considerate of your family. You have to uh, 
feel, you have to feel it when your woman comes home and tells you that she makes more than you and you have to be happy for her and you want to genuinely be happy for her. Right. But now, that same woman, because of social media, now she's turning her nose down at you because there just might be someone else out there. Go ahead, go ahead. Let go ahead. me, let me, let me in. <laughs> Well, I say, I say it was a, no, I'm just saying he can, he, can, he can fully attest that this is my cousin. I have always been the breadwinner in my relationships. I have never been disrespectful to no man that I was in a relationship with. They took advantage of the fact that they had a good woman. I literally had a man to tell me, I wish I could set you on the shelf mm. and go and do the things I, I want to do because I want to be free right now and come back and get you. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So it's not all women. At the end of the day, it takes a it takes a different type of woman. I will agree to be able to be with a man and you're making less to me. I've never put that in none of their face. I've never said that at all. It was something they said to me. Oh, because you make more money than me. Where did it come from? Well, I mean, you've had people to to tell you a man is telling you that that has affected him. But here's my thing. I've never made you feel less than. So how? What to is you, wrong? but that doesn't mean that there isn't something still going on inside yeah, because so. of that. Yeah. No, but what but it's he's about saying, the communication. Yeah, what he's saying is, at least he did let you know no. how he and felt. It was time a lot of people wanted to say that. Yeah, it was time for you. What you got? But it wasn't said to me on a on a on a decent way. It was said to me on some. Sometimes we may not be able to say it in the right. So way. here's my thing: if you're gonna say it, sometimes you may not be able to, then why do y'all get to get a free state? No, it's not that. It's not that. But you have to recognize that sometimes how we are able to express our vulnerability, and you have to see it as okay. This man is being. Sometimes you have to be the person to step back and say. Okay, I, I know, know he may he may not have said it the way that I that was pleasant. But he was me. real vulnerable. But he, he was vulnerable. He so does. let's let me come instead of going back and forth. I don't go back and forth. I don't go back. Now and forth. it's time for you to maybe even if you even if you did not go back and forth with him, you were still slighted by him telling you the way that he told you, right? Let me let me interject. I'm, I'm glad she kind of threw me in there, you know, because I kind of had an outside looking in. Okay. Okay. And. What I will say is, she's right. She she was that type of that type of woman. From the outside looking in, as 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 family, what I saw was my cousin was going towards things she wanted, mm. not men she needed. And so every male isn't a man. Come you see on. what I'm saying? Every yeah, male, every right male right. isn't a man. And she felt like this is just from my point of view. Is that if I show him that it don't matter what you what you have, mm -hmm. what you bring to the table, I'm for you. I want you to be for me, and 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 we can move forward. If it's a male and not a man, he gets comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. He's comfortable with you leaving in the morning and tossing the cover over him. He's he's comfortable with with him beating you home, but he ain't been at work. He been out doing whatever. He's comfortable with you digging in your pocket, giving him cigarette money. Like that's not a man. That's a that's a that's a little boy. That's a that's a male. But that's an opinion. Wait, wait wait a minute. But but that's that was the want. You see what I'm saying? Everything everything we we want ain't good for us, and everything we need we don't always want. You see what I'm saying? And so to me, piggybacking off of what he said is that. What makes me a man in my house? Is it my income? What what makes me the man in my house? Is I, it is it is I, it is it because um, I'm the male? I'm the I'm, I mean is it because I'm a male? What that's the start of it. Yeah, I think you're about to find that's exactly the start of it. That's the start of it. How you guys can really help us and how you how you can't help us, right? You know, because his brother's actually coming out and saying, you know, when I come home. You know, I'm, it's one way the world makes me feel one way. Yes. Right. When I get home, then I'm, I'm made to feel another way. Right. right. And I can attest to that because, I, again, as I said, being married for 30 years, when I started out, I started off in the gas and oil industry when I was 19 years old. Okay. And I can remember when I was just paid just a look at maybe, maybe you know, 12, 13 dollars an hour just being a material handler. Okay. After being married for 30 years, I mean, I got up to, to making almost like. I would say maybe about thirty, thirty-five dollars an hour. You know, um, making during this sixty thousand a year, close to it. But it wasn't enough for her. Mm. It wasn't enough. We both knew that how the gas and oil industry worked. 
Okay? There you go, brother. Now, I don't need, I, I say no more, up and down. So, it the periods in the times when I was off, and you're looking for a job, okay, as a black man, then you're going to companies, and you're doing, during, the, during the recession, I remember during the recession, the recession in 1920, uh, the year was 2015, got laid off, okay? Go look for a job. You know what they tell me? We can't hire you, Mr. Russell, because you're over qualified. Over -qualified. Yeah. Okay. What does so that do? Yeah, exactly. To us? You know, you still got to carry that home. You still got to carry that home. Yeah. And so that's the time when we need for you to understand. So, so I am in a very, very special position. That I don't think that a lot of men are in. Right. So, I over the last couple of years, I have been blessed to be able to really be able to know what a woman goes through with children. I did not have that knowledge before. Right. Because I helped to foster like seven kids, right? So what happens is, is that I learned something. I learned something that I did not know. And, and it's, a, it's a lesson that I wish, if we had time, that I could um, give that to men so that they could have something to say, oh my God, I wish I had known. Stage two diabetes, two, type two, not stage two, but type two, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. She was type, type two diabetic, okay? Now that's, that's, that's real serious for a woman, okay? That's real serious. And she was going through some things in her body. And as a man, I didn't understand that. Yeah. I didn't understand. So, so, so you had medical issues that she was facing, that she was going through in her body and changes. And my thing was, while I was changing, she was changing. What she was looking at, it was freaking her out. And when I was looking at, it was freaking me out. Because I was like, oh, what the hell is this? And she probably looked at me like, oh, what the hell is that? Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and, and it was freaking us both out. So a lot of times, if there's a lack of understanding, it's due to the lack of communication, like he's saying. If you don't talk about it effectively, then you will never understand Each what other. it is that's a, a, a affecting a person in a negative way. So mm -hmm. can I ask you this question? Yes, sir. Um, so, so now that you know this, mm -hmm. you know, uh, meaning that to know is to, uh, to not have any questions about it at all. Right. Now that you have a greater understanding, would you handle those things differently today? Oh, absolutely. So, so here again, absolutely. if we are given the opportunity to learn, we will do better. We will do better. You do better. You, you, so, so it's all about communication once again. So I have to go back to... Uh, you know, uh, I have to keep bringing this up because I believe it's just important. Uh, listening to each other, uh, communicating with each other. Because I learned that uh, you're going to argue. But I didn't know that uh, when we argue that we don't necessarily have to leave. See, today we're on the Internet. I bring, I'm bringing the Internet back up again. And because we can meet Sarah, Sue, uh, Jenny and all these other people real fast. In fact, they've been texting us. They've been uh, hitting us up on the dating site. But I got you right here. And, be, and the first time we argue, I don't have to deal with you because guess what? I got all these people right here exactly. that I can I that's, that's telling me no exactly what I want to hear. They're yep. willing to do what I want to do. So guess what? Men and women are not, again, communicating. They don't even have to, because of the internet, they don't even have to stay in the, uh, the, the situation if there's confusion at all. So nobody's willing to work it out. So where do we see ourselves in the future if we can't even do what it takes to maintain a full, complex relationship, which is talking out even through the bad time? That's why we have marriages that are failing so much today. That's why we have so many people who are not even getting to the marriage stage. That's the reason why in dating this community today, people are not, let me tell you, a long time dating is three months. For us to know our grandmothers and grandfathers stayed together 40 and 50 years, three months is where we are today. Because if the if the going gets hard at all, we out. Because guess what? We got all these people lined up that keeps us unfocused. You can be the nicest, sweetest, most understanding person, but I can't see it because my mind is somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So women are dealing, women have that option. Women have that option. Like you said, stand still, peace. Go away from that. Here, learn to listen. Learn to we need slow down. That's what you said. Women need to stop. Yes, there are gonna be thousands of men, thousands of men hitting you up online. 
But that one, uh, the one who's willing to go all the way for you, you're calling him uh, lame. You're calling him weak. You're calling him all these names. Uh, uh, just if he want to cuddle with you, oh, he's he's uh, he's too much. He, he want to be all over. He clingy. He, he clingy. Clean. Yeah, he clingy. That's the word now. Oh, he, oh, he's he's creepy because I want to spend time with you. Oh, he's caught. Oh, it's him again. But if you stood still, you might find someone you could be with for a lifetime. Or just like they're saying, they say, you, you have someone that definitely do that. They'll just verbally come out and say that you're lame, you weak, you this and that. But then there are other women that will call you lame, weak, stupid, whatever it takes, mm. by using positive words. Oh, come on now. Baby, I love you so much. But, oh, you're such a good man. But, uh, and and all, of, all of that comes out. And I'm, I'm listening to this. I'm like, something's not right about this because the tone and the feeling is not right. Because it's, it's not right. Yes. Because it's in there. Exactly. And, and so when you, get, you get a lot of that. And so, I, I mean, I agree completely. You know, <laughs> well, both of y'all can go sit over there with y'all agree and say, oh, let <laughs> me say that. Okay. Because I'm speaking for women that are actually good women. You know what I'm saying? That actually... I am when I say I, at this point right here, I'm not there. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that I'm hurt or anything like that. I love myself and I let that go along with it. He did give you accuracy. I never ever literally dated a man because he wanted me. It's I had my philosophy back then, I still have now. You don't fuck with me, I fuck with you. Yes. So I can cut you off whenever I get ready to. Sorry. It's just it's <laughs> So that's been a model for me to where I wasn't with you because I wanted your, your money, your car, your this, your that. It was none of that. Okay, so did that happen often? That's who I am. No, no, no. These types of relationships in your life, has those things been a recurring thing? I'm going to say I'm gonna say like maybe 50, 60 percent, yeah. I'm going to say 75. Well, he can say that too, yeah. <laughs> so, but not to cut you off, but I recently found out with me learning more about myself. Here we go. I attract that because I'm a nurturer. Ah, okay. So if people say you attract what you are, it's not. I'm a nurturer, so I, these people are coming through my life for me to nurture them through and go where they're going. I looked at it as long term, but it's not long term for him. That's mm -hmm. not who it is. So I know now my purpose is you come through here. So when you go, you always come back to say, man, let me tell you, man, look, you talk, man, I, you. So I get that. You know what I'm saying? So by, not, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, when she said him, she pointed up to the sky. I did. All right, all right. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. So, I so um, I, first of all, I want to say that I'm so sorry that you had to go through No, 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 no. But I will no. say that God allows these things to happen mm -hmm. uh, so that you can learn from it. But I, and, I would have taken, excuse me, not to cut you off. I would have taken an apology maybe four and a half years ago. Because I felt like, why me? 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 But I know who my and I know what my purpose is and what my calling is now. So it's different for me. So you became aware. I became so, aware. So now, but I also became became aware. But my level of anointing went up as well. So I understood yes. what my purpose was. Yes. So it's a different thing when you're dealing with a woman that is a, that is anointed, that is a woman that's in the world, and that's a little girl. It's a lot of different ways that you're gonna find a female, and it just depends on where you catch her. So, so let me throw something out to you as a, as a black woman. Do you think that um, how do you how, so we're all all in a certain age bracket, I, have to, I mean, I'm sure we'd agree. I'm 29, now, but go ahead. Yeah, okay. And so, uh, as a single black woman, do you think, what, do you have any fears as far as finding a mate in the future? Mm -hmm. You don't have see, any fears in finding a mate? See, see no. because, let me tell you why. Because I believe that because of the way things are now, that we are going, for the single ones, we're going to be the first generation to die the loneliest. I'm not gonna kill. I'm not gonna die alone. Because of what has been going on with the way we're not able to communicate, the way there's no long-term relationships, the way uh, marriages are not going can't, can't, I can't say that we will be the first because at the end of the day, we probably like the last generation to really still see like something in, in, in relationships. But, but, I see but girls now that's in their teens and their twenties, and they like I don't want no relationship. Right. Yeah, that's that's early. Early. But, that's but there's still a bunch of us in this age group who now we have to deal with uh, the new dating thing, which is an online uh, motivated situation. But so why we're still running? But why though? Because this this is the time that we're in. Yeah, this is the it's time that we're in. No, no, it's because y'all have because at this age that we are in now, I'm forty, going on forty two. <clears throat> 
I have been in more than one relationship. So in those relationships that I have been in, if I'm single right now, something didn't go right. I didn't choose right. Uh, uh, something went wrong. So my thing is, it's not us. It's not everybody in our generation that's going to die lonely. It's the ones that have accepted their faith and saying, hey, I don't want nobody. I don't want to be with nobody. You are, no. given, you are, given, look, you are given options. You have an option. Let me explain that to you. Okay. You're given an option, first of all, to be in a uh, heterosexual relationship. Right. Okay? That's that's your first option. Okay. Your other option, you can be in a homosexual relationship, a right. lesbian relationship. That's another option. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then there are other options to where you can be in a polygamous relationship. relationship. Okay. My case in point is you have all of these options. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not happy with the heterosexual, yeah. Then you can go to the polygamy. If you're not satisfied with the polygamous relationship, you can go to a lesbian or homosexual relationship. They got all these different types of and, and, social and that, media. And that option there is, is killing us. It's, it's killing Ooh, It is it's killing, killing the black I agree. I definitely agree. That's the reason why. I definitely agree. I said a long time ago, I said even with the children, I say, man, we did not have this many options. Exactly. How the heck you get here and you can choose what you want to be? Okay, I had, no, I don't want that thing down there. I want to switch it to another one. Like, when did that come? Like, but so, so, right. so, um, I was having lunch with two beautiful women today, and they happened. We were talking about relationships. So, and now they're the in a, no, 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 over the age of 50, and they look good, right. they're beautiful, you know, 50 is the new 40, 40 is the new 30, you know how we doing it right now. Now, nah, but, <laughs> but, but, I want all my is, years. see, you are married, or I think you're married, right? Right. So, you don't, you don't, you're not out there anymore, you're not out there, but the ones now, it's a, so, back in the 80s, if you was a uh, 40 years old or 50 years old, you could still probably go to a party down the street and meet somebody and oh my god, y'all might make it work. Right. You know, because uh, it was just me and you against the world back then. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to stay up on the phone with you all night. Mm -hmm. But now I may not want to stay up on the phone with you in this, where we are now, as a single person, where we are now, because, you know, we got all these other options. 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 And so I can't even see you. So now I'm afraid because it's so much bull out there. It's right. so much that I may end up lonely. I may no, end up well, lonely. Okay, so you're accepting that because... What no, you I'm not to, accepting that. Okay, because I'm going to say, what you have to realize is if, in fact, you feel like it is somebody out there for you, you kind of you kind of sit around the room. You don't rush into nothing. Girls right now, the first day you meet them, they're trying to give you the goody. And it's like, okay, oh, yeah. if you get the goody today, why do you come back tomorrow? So that's another option. It's killing us. <laughs> so here again, those beautiful women that I was telling you about, <laughs> the beautiful women that I was telling you about, now, even though they're beautiful, they are um, in a situation where they get to have it worse than maybe a woman who doesn't look as appealing. Because now their stuff is fast track, you know, uh, because if they get tired of somebody, they can quickly find somebody. So can you imagine what they feel like on a, uh, uh, when they are sitting at home by themselves? Uh, and what kind of mental state of mind is that when I'm still uh, not able to find anybody? What's wrong with me? You're beautiful, but you, you now the, the society, is, the, the know, dating scene, I, hold on one second, the, da the dating scene has made you feel like what is wrong with me and there's nothing wrong with no, you. No, I would say that's, a, that's sad because if you're 40 or 50 years old, because honestly, we started dating in high school. You date in high school, you date in your 20s, you date in your 30s, you make it to your 40s, and you haven't got, fell in love with yourself enough to be alone? No. That's the first problem. No, because you said you said that. But we're designed to be loved. Come on now. We are designed we to be loved. We got the number one love, period. We got love from God. So if you just wait on who God sent you, you're going to have the right person. We out there rushing for That's me. beautiful, but that's not the state that we're living in right now. Because that's society, not the state that you want to live in. No, no. The reality is... That we're in a different game right now. Right. If you were single, you'd see, oh my God, it just seemed like there was a lot of trash. I agree. No, 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 no. And that's what I'm saying. And I will wait. 
Why? That's what I'm saying. I will wait. If I'm, if I'm 50 and I'm still single, I know it's for a reason. I'm not going to date 50 men that's going to hurt me 50 times because I don't want to be by myself and I'm still by myself. But well, that means at the same time that person is doing has not healed. That's because why I'm you healthy. wait. But, yeah, but, but I'm saying you, you don't know to wait because you're codependent. You want somebody under you. But a lot don't. of women accept, excuse me, not to cut you, a lot of women accept anything from a man just to say they got one. And you know why? Because when they was teenagers and they 20s and they 30s, they weren't learning what they were supposed to be learning, which was to deal with yourself, be by yourself, accept yourself. Oh, that way, when you get with somebody else, they just compliment you. But you so dependent on finding somebody, you done wasted your whole damn life looking for a man that's supposed to find you. Yeah, but see, with the state that we're in today, you said you would not waste your time dealing with 50 men. You don't expect for the one that you are trying to give your time to, to be trash. And Come then on. somebody else comes along and it's like, okay, well, let me see. And before long, you are guilty of being uh, 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 in the 50 plus club of dating. And you don't you didn't intend for that to happen. It's just like a frog being in hot water or the in the water steadily, you know, getting hot and hot and they don't know that they're boiling. I, I'm gonna tell you this. You know who Tina knows is? Right. Beyonce no. Oh shit. She knows. You see what I'm saying? And she was married to her husband for the longest. Like two kids from the man loved the man, man went got a whole nother baby on her, right? And look what she is now. And I know she about what, 60, 70 years old. I don't now. think she's happy. I don't think she's happy. Because, you know, she was on an interview, uh, right. and she was saying, oh, you know, he's all right. And the man was sitting there like, right. And I seen that interview, but I'm going to tell you this. She probably at an age now to where when your husband, the very man that you put everything into and y'all in front of the whole world, when he disgraced you like that, you don't want to display your affection and your love for the next man because you don't want to be hurt no, in that way. she did that to him. That's what I'm telling you. So that's why she's acting how she's acting because I done gave me fully. I done stood firmly on the ground with my husband, my children's father. Well, how does that make that man how, feel? How, how is that fair to her new husband? And, and listen, that's why we're here on this platform right now discussing this because at the end of the day, these things do happen because of what the previous man done and you don't want to be put back in that same yeah, position. But you, know you see what I'm saying? Because yeah, at the end of the if I am your husband, it's time to cut that off. You know, don't you know if I am now your husband and we have mm -hmm. made that step, mm -hmm. yeah. it's time to cut, cut that out, right? Yep. Don't put right. me in a situation in, in the public and you know who you are and everything you do could possibly go viral right. and say something so demeaning about this man. Okay. You know, this man, he had a whole life before her. You know, I was a fan of his work. But right. the thing is is that here she is tearing him down. What does that do for his ego at right. that age? Mm -hmm. But at the, in, at the end of the day. It's about choices. He chose her. He knew what she had been through. So he know, like, and then they dated. So I got with him, I'm just hurt because I'm like, man, if they don't love me, you love me. You can't love me. My mama don't love me. But So you going through stuff, and I wasn't healed. I hadn't got through that. But he was willing to go through that process with me. You understand me? So mm -hmm. you just have to know, and, if, and like I said, I wouldn't have stayed with me. Because if you're, the reciprocal, if you're on the receiving end of that, and you don't know how it's going to affect you mentally. Now we got to go pull your ass up out the hole I just got out of. Because you are mentally bruised because of what I done did. So was it so, in Go ahead, I'm sorry. So, so, so what was in him that wasn't in you? Well, I think mm -hmm. the fact he, with, with him and his family, even though he had a kind of tough childhood too, he had his mom and his dad. You understand me? He had mm -hmm. grandparents. I only seen one of my grandparents one time, and I was like three or four years old. You understand mm -hmm. me? My daddy was in jail most of my life. The story with my mom and my daddy was my mama was the side chick. He was married. The hooked up one night. She got pregnant. Wasn't supposed to have no kids, and uh, two were tied, birthed the clip, so... You know, I'm a miracle baby, kind of. That's what I was told. So, yeah, that. that. No, no, no. What I what I meant was what I meant was you said if the situation had been turned, you wouldn't have stayed. No, I but said I would have left. You, me. you, you, you. Right, right. You, you would have left, yeah. but he stayed. Right. So what I'm saying is, what was in him to make him want to make him stay through that negative time that you wouldn't have stayed through? With myself, because I wouldn't even date me. Okay, so let me ask no, you. I wouldn't, no, no, the reason why I wouldn't is because at one point I felt like I was too needy. I didn't I, I needed love, like I wanted to be at one point I was searching for love. Like I didn't I didn't literally been out in the street searching for love. So now that I know what love is, now that I know I didn't even have to search for it because I had it the whole time. To, 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 to me, 
He saw something in you that you didn't see. see right. That's 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 all it was. So see, so, see a lot. Of, I'm sorry. Go ahead, a, a lot of times we over we we make things real complicated. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just like the household, just like your job. There's roles. Right. Okay. Um. At the job, there's a there's a way things happen. You know, you get you get slapped on the hand if you jump to the executive before going to your immediate supervisor. Right. right. Like there's a there's right. a there's an order. Right. Chain of command. There's a chain of command. Same thing in the house. Right. When I walk in the house, whether my paycheck is a million or five hundred, I'm still the, the man of the house. Chain. I still should get yeah. the respect of being in the man of the house. And there's a lot of households now where men isn't men aren't getting treated like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And one thing I say to people when we have these type of conversation is with, if we in the bed at night and we sleep mm -hmm. and we hear the bump in the night, can I tap you and tell you go check it out? Right. You gonna look at me like, please? Right, right, no, right. that's no, that's right. your job. Right. See, you don't get to pick and choose what my job is. Either my job is the protector. You know what I'm saying? The provider. The the even if even if my providing Amen. isn't what yours is. Right. You know what I'm saying? To me, don't that, that don't that don't make me any less of a man in 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 the home. Yeah. And I think that um, you know, a lot of women they they. They they pick and choose. They they want. They talk about men, like 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 my brother was saying. They talk about men back with with Madea and them and Big Mom and them. How hard they worked and 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 how they came home and 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 paid all the bills and this and that and all that. But guess what? Big Mama did things you're not willing to do. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? Big Mama did things that you tell you you expect some women to do. They look at you like you're crazy. Well, you know, Big Mama them. <laughs> listen, listen, Big Mama them and the mamas before Big Mama them. And I said this. I say the men went to war. We didn't have cell phones or house phones. You had to wait for a telegraph to come through the mail to right, tell you. Right, your, right. I said these women stay patiently waiting on their husband and right. don't even know if he's coming home. One time, they ever make that man feel that That's right. Yeah. That's right. One time. Yeah. That's right. So now, now I, don't, I don't, I don't have all the history and all the information there, but when you see it, then my mother and my father was married for sixty-three years. Right. Mm. And I seen some knockdown drag out. Right. Mm. Okay. Right. And, and my brothers and sisters, they seen it, and they have told me some things. Right. But that man and that woman, I watched them. Build an empire together. I watched them start businesses together. Right. Both of them. Right. They stayed with. They had nine children. Right. I was the youngest boy, and I had a sister of mine is the youngest girl. And now one time, I, I sometimes I, I, I would see my mom. She'd be so angry at my dad. And, and my dad at one time he was just he was just, was just hopping with a rolling stone at one point. <laughs> okay. But and they fought like cats and dogs. But they stayed together, and I, and I and I wonder, but I've never heard her say anything demeaning to him. never. Right. And he was a military man, and I don't care. I mean, you can say something to him, and it wouldn't phase him for one bit. Right, but she you know, never did. Right. But she would never say anything demeaning to him right. or anything like that. Now, let let me say this. Let me say this. I don't know the the, the turning of tables. Okay. And I'm not sure exactly when it took place, but for a woman to degrade a man, regardless of what the circumstances are, or, we, or even if a man degrades a woman, where we got it from, I don't know where it come from. I know that a lot of times with social media can play a part in it, uh, music can play a part in it. Um, there's a whole lot of things that just learn behavior, just learn behavior. Just mm -hmm. learn behavior. Mm -hmm. just, you yeah, see and you can say that learn behavior. You know, just it, but the thing was is that you, what we're seeing now, is unacceptable. Right. True. Of what's happening to black couples right, right now, mm -hmm. the way that we talk to one another. And let me tell you something. I've been guilty of that too. And I'm gonna tell me you. I'm gonna, and, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna tell you why. If you just give me just a moment, I'm gonna tell you why. And I felt like I was right about it. I, I watched my ex-wife and how she treated my daughter. Right. When my daughter, look, this turned me into a perfectly abusive man. Okay. Mm. Okay, when I wasn't. Right. Okay? Right. It turned me into one. Right. 
I remember my daughter getting pregnant at age 17. She told me that she was going to take my daughter to, to get an abortion. I said, no, you're not. Okay? I know how it was in, in, in back in the day. Right. But no, you just you just live with you live with that. You raised that child. Everybody came together. We raised that child. Right. Okay? Well, she went against my my mm. orders. My child, when I come back home, my child was just stuck in the corner. No, no uh, um, counseling whatsoever. Mm. Nothing to help me whatsoever. Okay? I literally lost my respect for her. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. In the context of all of all of this, of what you guys are saying, you never know what it is that causes a woman to say the things that she says to a man, or the things that a man that causes him to say to a woman. There's a context behind all of that, and I don't care regardless of if any of that. It's wrong, but it's the reality of where we are right now. And I would say it, it's just learning how to process your anger in a better way. Because when we don't know how to process our anger, we really don't. We, yeah. It comes out It comes out in a way that we really don't want it to come out. But you mad. And this is the only way. Because I remember at one point in time, it was like somebody got on your, got on your nerves, got on your road, you right. fought. Right. Now it's no, I can't fight. So you talk, you know. So I really think it's just us not being able to. Deal with and process our anger. But it's something the there. But it's something there. It's something in place to help you to deal with it. And in black families, we just not nine times out of ten, we don't want to go that way. Yeah, we, we don't want to go it. see a psychiatrist or a psychologist or a counselor. We because we feel like, oh, it ain't nothing wrong with us. It ain't no. Yes, it is. Right. It is something wrong with you right. all. Really right. And it's been happening for decades. Right. And somebody do we need to talk about it. This is Brother Sand, just the beginning of this thing. Your communication. You don't know how to communicate with one another. Well, we wasn't taught, our ancestors wouldn't taught how to communicate. Like we got to understand that now it's on us to learn how to pick it up. But so many people get trapped up in the world to where it's like yeah, they don't know how to talk to me. I don't know how to go learn how to talk to them. I'm not gonna go take no place. It's not getting to us anywhere. It's not. It's not, it's not going to we're, we're, as black men, I want to give us a little credit before I give y'all a little credit. As black men, this is for y'all show. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're, we're very resilient. Okay. You know, like you say, when we step out in the world, we deal with a lot of things. Right. A lot of, I mean, you know, you're talking about racism, you're talking about how they treat us on the job. Right. You, you talk about, you know, we, we can't get certain jobs now because we don't speak Spanish. I mean, it's mm -hmm. all, I mean, but we, 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 we keep pushing, we keep pushing, you know what I'm saying? But, black women, do y'all know none of that we deal with can hurt us like y'all can? Mm -hmm. Do y'all realize y'all have that type of power? Mm -hmm. We can fight through all of that other stuff outside. Right. And it can be the slightest Word from you. from you that will break our soul. Right. You know why that is? Because we hold you in such high regard. Right. We just need you to see that. Right. Yeah. So, so it's about a women. We just need you to see that women make men. You literally make men. So when you know the context of that, that's valuable. That's valuable. But you know what? We don't want to skip over a jewel in this session, and uh, because there is a, a learned, I mean, there is a situation that we are glossing over that we can that the other women can learn from as well. You said to us men that you wouldn't have dated you, but now you are sitting before us married. I want to know what were some of the things that you encountered to help you change to become the woman that you are today from your husband. I literally like stepped outside myself and seen how I was behaving. I was like, nah, that's that's not it. I don't care how hurt you are, that's just not how you do it. And I'm like, this man is a good man. I'm like, you gonna lose a good man because you don't know how to act. And that's just point blank and period. Like everything that I've been through, he didn't he didn't have no parts in it. Now don't get me wrong, he done did some things that, you know, made me act in that way and that's what made me act in that way because it's like okay they hurt me but you said you weren't gonna do this and you coming along with this that and the other so to me i just had to release the anger in a harsh verbally harsh way you know but when i realized i'm like oh look that's a man like 
I could have left you, sis. Like, you're too whole, eh? <laughs> you know, you're too, you too flat out, you're nonchalant, you're rude, you just got all this going on with your man in your house. You don't even just go like that out in the streets. But most know? women can't see that in, in, in themselves. What happened to make you be able to be aware that we on that word again? No, literally, I've always been the type that will hold myself accountable. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I've always yes. been the type to hold myself mm. accountable. Yes. But it's just the fact of me really just like, hold up. He did mess up, bro. But look what you doing. Look how you act. Like, I would leave you, even though he fucked up. I would leave you for treat me how you treat me because I fucked up. And I don't want fucked up because at the end of the day, like you said, y'all are men. At no point should we try to uh, take y'all from being a man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I sat back and I prayed and I cried because I was like, this is not what you do. You know, I don't care how hurt you are and what you're going through. This man, you love him. And what y'all battling like this here, the more you say this bad, like he going to be holding it in. And y'all can still be in the same house and he's still not being in the house with you. Because it's mine somewhere else because you didn't, you know, put all those flashes on his back. I, I call that being happy in marriage, mm. not happily married. Right. It's a difference. Mm. It's a difference. Tell me the difference then. Break it down for me. Elaborate more on myself. I'm happy right. and married. Right. I can admit to the world, I'm not happily married. Mm. I'm not. And it's not a place that I think anybody wants to be in. Right. But as I hear a lot of people say, but in this season, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's where I'm at. Right. Um, I have a wife that I've been married to for 13 years. Mm -hmm. We've been together almost, I mean, together over 20, um, with the exception of one year. Right. And she's my, she's my wife. Right. Is she my friend? Sometimes. Right. Is she my helpmate? Sometimes. Um, we have one daughter together, and I have a daughter outside of that. Right. But they both live with me. And so that brought its own right. challenges to the relationship, you know. And um, I get asked a lot, why do I stay? Mm. Why, you know, um, if I'm not happily married, why stay in the marriage? For me, it's simple. Be because it still works for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it still works for me. I, I couldn't, I don't know why she's still there. But for me... Um, it was important for me to stick around for my daughters. Right. It, I didn't. I didn't want any outside influences on that. You know. So I got a senior now. I'm about to go to college in a few months, and I got a. I got a ten year old. Right. You know. And um, it's like I say. It's it's not a place you you ever expect to be. I don't think it's a place you 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 want to be. Right. But life has a way of making putting you in places and. That's where you are. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a part of me that's looking forward to a, another chapter. Right. And I don't, I'm not sure that chapter involves my wife. I'm being totally, mm -hmm. now, now we're talking about transparency. Mm -hmm. right? okay. I'm, being, I'm being totally honest. Like, I don't, I don't know. And um, could she do something to help change the fate of that? I don't know. And the reason why, and the reason why I say I don't know, and I'll never say no, is because when God is in the mix, anything can happen. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And 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 in anything I, I'm I'm doing, even when it's something, you know, I I I I say God's will, God's will be done, even when it hurts. You know what I'm saying? Even 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 when I don't see it, because. I'm not always good at driving myself to the right destination. I make a lot of, you know, I make a lot of mis a lot of mistakes, you know. But um, so so to answer your question, what's the difference? That means um, I come home, I make sure my house is taken care of. I make sure my kids are fine. I make sure she's fine. I make sure the dog is fine. I make sure the bills is on. I mean. Um, my house works, you know, right. but but do do we 
Watch TV so, together and So what you're saying is together, like y'all are just not just a happily married couple, but you are happy. I'm happy. That's it. And, right. But that's okay, though. I mean, because one thing I have learned, me and my husband this year will be married 12 years, but he is my first boyfriend. We started dating when I was 14. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I can honestly say this. Throughout our marriage, throughout our relationship, I have always loved him. Mm. But, regardless, I have had some times where I wanted to yank, yank him. You understand me? And I can honestly say, like, I wouldn't change nothing. I still did what she wanted. Right. Mm. Now, I don't know how many men that are out there that are going through a similar issue. But let me tell let me explain something to black women, okay? We go through hell. And you may think and feel that we can handle it. Right. And at a certain point, we can. But then there comes a breaking point. Right. And you don't know which way we're going to sway. Right. Whether it's suicide, homicide, Violence, right. you just don't know. Because every brother is built different. Right. And you don't know how your brother is built. Right. And I always tell this to I always tell this to you know, that's why they say, you know, well, test that man. See how much you can take. Do that. No, don't Do test it. him. Don't test him. Because there's enough out here that's testing us. Right. Okay? Yes. There's enough out here that's testing us. On your car, when you get in your car, it says that you can travel a hundred and probably thirty miles per hour in that car, but that don't mean you get in that car it, it, and test it and see if you can go hundred and thirty miles. Right. It's a dangerous thing to go through a marriage five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty years and not come to a place of understanding. If there's a lack of understanding, there's always going to breed chaos and danger. I agree. Eventually. So I just wanted to share that because I, like I understand exactly what you're saying. If you're in that place, you're in that place, brother, I'm telling you where you are indecisive and you're feeling inadequate and you don't know what your next moment or next situation is going to be, you need to lock arms with some brothers. Well, I'm going to tell you, and, and I really thank you for opening up and sharing that that particular story because that can help a lot of people because a lot of people, I have a, a homegirl, a friend, and um, her husband had been missing for a while, and, you know, they're thinking it's probably due to suicide, and I feel like it's real, it's real, real sad that yeah. people are really going through that because people don't feel like you're capable of doing that. So I just want to... Um, I want to give some suggestions to the black men on things that they probably can do um, to help themselves. And, mm. and this is just me. I think that black men need to seek mental health, mental counseling, therapy of some sort. Um, hold yourself accountable. Stop making excuses for whatever you're going through, uh, what's going on. Stop making excuses for it. Excuses are like assholes. Everybody got them. Um, also, I think stop Stop being quiet. Stop being quiet. You have to open up. We cannot pick your brains on everything. Like, if you got something that you need to talk to us about, talk to us about. Even if it got to come out in the most harsh way, just get it out. Get it out. That way we'll know it's there. Um, I feel like know you, your self-worth. Know that you're worth something. We talking about how the women going around and parading and showing their stuff out, but now they got a trend going around that is the hoochie man shorts. Well, they got men comfortable with putting on hoochie coochie shorts. So I just need our black men to know they self-worth. Stop feeling like you have to fit into every trend. Um, handling your emotions. Learn how to process your emotions. Learn how to handle your emotions. Learn, learn how not to move because of your emotions. Um, and also learn how to simplify problems. Like everything don't have to be big. Come to a conclusion and, and a um, result. No, no, I heard two things, two things you said. Um, I'm going to tip the, the last one. You said uh, 
you said control your emotions, right? No, I didn't say control your say? emotions. I said learn how to process your emotions. A lot of people move pertaining to their emotions. So if you're angry, you can cuss me out and call me out my name just because you're angry. Or if you're angry, you can get physical just because you're angry. It's different ways that you can process anger and emotions. I mean, emotions. Okay, okay. I, I, because my thing, well, when you said that, the first thing I thought about is that's one of the things we get hit with the most. We don't show emotion. A lot of men don't show emotion. Right, right. And, and, and so, I mean, I understand what you're saying when you say, when you talk about when you're angry. But you know how many men, like you say, men, men, men don't feel it. It's not a safe place all the time for men to cry because they get hit with he weak, mm. he weak. Uh, he he was in here crying. You know, there's uh, there's women. There's a lot of women these days don't know how to handle that. I think you know, I think it's safe they don't they don't they don't know how to handle that. You know. <laughs> I think it and depends on what level of crying that they all over. See, they see, 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 I am the type of woman I am a very sentimental and sensitive and emotional creature. You go to cry right now, I can guarantee you, you're gonna be like, what the fuck wrong with us? I'm crying because you crying, my brother. I can guarantee you. my husband, he slides over, baby. If something happened on TV, I'm doing it, he right there on the side of me. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, that, that, no, I'm no, just that's no, that's that's literally that's what I mean, it goes back to the transparent part of it all too, because you have to be open to, to cry, you know, because I tell men all the time, get in your car. If you don't want to do it in front of your woman, get in your car, drive down 45 and just let it loose. Man, I cannot take this. You know what I'm saying? Let it out. Nobody's there, so you don't have to feel a certain kind of way, but you got to get it out. Pressure buttons a pipe. But I think it's sad that he would have to, and don't get me wrong, you got to leave if you feel like it, but I feel like it's sad that oh, it's, it's he would have to leave. I the house. Like, yeah, I, agree. Now, I, to, I agree as well, but if that's what it is, get it out. What they say, I cry, cry, you cry, we cry together. Yeah, we cry together. You, you right, man, right. look here, if you cry for me, oh, look but we need to, But we need to be able to do it with a safe place. That's right. We need to have a safe, a safe, place. A safe yes. place. And so, I do get what you're saying, but I also want the listeners to also hear that she also said that she believes it is sexy yes, for a man to cry. Right, yeah, right, right. And that's so, me so, that said that shit. That, that's me. <laughs> yes, that was that boy. He coming to you straight college. You know, I know y'all. I know y'all just start crying for no reason at all. Trying to get some extra chicken on the plate. Hell yeah, <laughs> no. Come with all that damn crying out of No, but one of the things that I believe that we need to do as men as well uh, for ourselves is talk with each other. We need to have a, a place that we can come together and talk and commune and. and um, Express ourselves and help us work through our things therapeutically with each other. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I want to sincerely say, like me not feeling out the application is not to leave you in a stuck place. It's me to show you for me, meant for me to show you that you can do it on your own. Yes. A lot of people really make a person feel like they can't do it. That's why they always doing it for them. Mm -hmm. So we have to kind of uplift the man and let them know, hey, baby, you capable of doing it. I don't care what your parents told you and what they said you weren't capable of, but you with me now. You're going to be able to do all this shit. And okay. you're going to be able to do it with or without me because I prepare my husband. If Because this is not our final resting place. God forbid, I want to live a long time, but I don't want another woman to swoop in and something that happened to me and he don't know how to do nothing. Yeah, no, my yeah. husband knows how to do everything. everything. He, he going to wash his clothes. I not saying I taught you how to wash, because we know you know how to But he know how to wash, he know how to cook, he know how to fill out a motherfucking application, he know how to do all that. So. <laughs> I don't see that better. I don't know why. Do so I, I just want y'all to know that I wasn't saying it in that manner because we know understand. You know, it's sad when you're in a relationship and it feels like you're taking all the L's alone. But when you take that win, you're taking it with a whole team. Yes, so, yes. I just want to thank y'all for coming out. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the coffee shop at nights on 105 The Block. And also, if you're checking into YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or whatever, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all go out and get my book, I Made Him Leave. It can be found anywhere books can be ordered, or you can purchase it from me, www.thecoffeeshop.net. That's T-H-A, not T-H-E, www.thecoffeeshop.net. 
And I just want to thank y'all. Y'all want to say goodbye to the audience? I had a really nice time. I appreciate you uh, inviting me out. It was a pleasure meeting you, brothers. Yeah, and, and I also want to say that you know this is this is a very good platform to dialogue and share some things with them because this is this is something that a lot of times men don't have. Right. Okay. We it, we don't have a, we sometimes we just don't have the platform to be transparent. And I appreciate you allowing us to come on your show to be transparent. Okay. It was a safe place. <laughs> <laughs> Black men here, yeah. and even though you know y'all thought I was a little rough around the edges, I am very like sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so thank y'all for tuning in to the coffee shop with your girl M O E coming to you straight coffee, no tea. All right. All right.